Lamita, Fire Strong Books, and I'm finally here with Evie Muck. We're doing a collab. It's supposed to be a fall look. We'll see how it winds up <laughs> being because, yeah, we have no idea exactly what colors we're using or any of that. So, we will improvise. Pretty much. Hopefully it turns out good. So we both did our brows off camera because that took way too long. And right around here, Ellie was just showing me a palette that she originally wanted to use, but the colors ended up being way too light. So trying to figure out a backup plan. Ellie wanted to make sure that the colors in this palette would go good with the outfit that she had chosen. So she was debating on it. So I just keep this and just like view us. Yes. And just like <laughs> we're gonna see. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. I have cut out a lot of footage around here because we did take a very long time doing our eyes because it was a lot of blending plus catching up. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me do that. So she's still finishing up her eye look because she gets to be more dramatic and I'm doing more natural, which is my issue. She's the queen of natural, I'm not, I'm, that's me. <laughs> this <laughs> is her. <laughs> yes. So I used the Desi and Katie Frankation palette that she got me, was it Christmas or my birthday? Christmas. Christmas well, last. like a, a bow, I was like, yeah. well, I'll give it to you early because it's your, bir your birthday. Yeah. Birthday. Like that. So yeah. this is what the palette, and we did our virtual collab with this palette. Yes, with the blue. So this time I used, which way does it go from? Is it this one on this side or is it this one is this way? Um, I just know cheese is the, the brown, so that's how I go off of it. Oh, this one? Yeah. Okay. So I used necessary for the most part and then I darkened some of it up with churro and then I did basic for to lighten up the lid of my eye because I'm trying to do a it's there but it's not there look so those are what I used from here and then now I'm going into the Savage palette to do the highlight of the brow bone because basically my makeup look is going to be matte besides you know right here the inner corner the brow and maybe the blush I don't know if I'm doing that yet but yep that's what we're doing yeah, my house. You definitely do highlight. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yes, okay, I gotta do highlight, Ed. Sorry for the most part that this is, you know, voiceover. You just see us talking and stuff, but it's like we don't get to get together very often. And so we're having, like, reminiscing from our middle school days and some high school things and the people that we know. So, hey, Barcelona people, if you're watching, what up, Nudget? <laughs> We're not, we're not gossiping about you. We're just reminiscing about who we remember. She remembers like nobody and I remember everybody, so. <laughs> I'm going more for a subtle glow, so I'm using Estrella from the Salvaje palette while Ellie is finishing up her eye look. I need to pluck my brows after this. Y'all are lucky y'all far away because y'all can't see my hairs. <laughs> from a distance. Yes, very fabulous from a difference. Different? <laughs> from a distance. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm still working. Like this. It looks like just one shadow. No, it doesn't. <laughs> like, okay, from far away, but when you go to the close up at the end, like I can see, what was it, like three or four different colors? See? My skills are getting better. I can count. I think mine looks literally so just like one. Well, I can tell the light in the dark. But you made like four colors and I'm like, no, I only did three. Because I used Necessary, Choro, and then I did this one to lighten it up because this one, 
because it looks so light in the pan, but when it comes out, it's dark, and then I needed this one to like darken up the crease. I have that bottle that's number two, but I was thinking like, okay, this one's gonna yeah, be good. Yeah, because normally good... it's freaking like, I expect it to look white, but it came out with 10. Yes. <laughs> so, good this, if you want your money for some browns, get Very this, cool. get this. Okay, so I... trust the process sometimes the makeup look looks yeah. hella crazy but then at the end it looks better so i gotta color correct because i got a whole bunch of breakouts and i already put my primer and stuff on way before we started the filming and here i'm just color correcting with la girls pro Con concealer in the shade peach She's the more professional that does it on her hand first, and I just put it on my face. And well, it's because it's a pour on. Usually, yeah. I do put it on my face, but because I didn't want it to come out too so much. Okay, so let's put it this way I was here at one o'clock, and at the end, we'll figure out what time it is. Blade work. Yeah. One looks like the pictures too. It looks like it matches. It right. blends to your neck. Yeah. But it looks really good. On your really hand. Bolded. Yeah. That's all that works. I did end up applying a second layer of foundation just to feel more comfortable. For concealer, I used the Fenty Concealer in the shade 370 and 350 towards the inner corner of my eye. Because once I do, you know, the setting powder and all that, mm -hmm. it's all gonna look like flawless. Cause my skin for my last ones, it's been hella bad. You, look, you feel like you look pasty. I feel like I look freaking pink. You see what I'm see, saying? Look, look, yeah, the camera looks totally different though. Like, but yours still looks good. Even on that one, yours looks good. Like my, to me, I, I can see like As the you can white see, head. we have issues of how we view ourselves. So that what that's what happens when you kind of have shitty childhoods. <laughs> Don't be colorist people. Yes, that. To set beneath my eyes, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade Medium as well as Fenty Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honey. Coconut. Yeah. Oh, when you did that one, um, the 
duo I look, remember? Oh yeah, that was, that was right, yeah. 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 Which you need to go look at some of her past videos because that's pretty much where I learned a lot of my makeup skills is watching her. As you can tell when it comes to contour and stuff, she is the braver one. <laughs> and I'm still like... I'm trying to be. You I, are. I definitely be like scared. I'm scared. Like I'm like, I don't want to look like a freaking Janice Dickinson. Accidentally being bold. Like, you got your cheeks up Yeah. And then here it looks more like me to blend it. So this one was very sculpted, but not in a bad way. Okay. And the other one was like I went a little bit too harsh on one side, so me trying to blend it out to make it less harsh. My cheekbones are already like there, but now it's like, ooh, you got this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I used a combination of nutmeg and honey loose setting powder from Fenty. Now it's time to apply blush. Okay, yeah, it gives it that little shine. I'm using the Morphe 8W palette in the shade Bay. I usually stay away from the shimmers, but we'll probably put somewhere around here the inspiration photos. Figuring out the lashes for me. I think Foxy is too, especially since my face is already like super natural. I think Foxy is gonna be too. Yeah. Mm. The Flare might be too. I might as well just use the Flare because I haven't used them before. I might as well just use them. Hella fluffy is always my go-to like these are my favorite ones but I need to step out of my comfort zone I'm going to use the flare and these are her like she always be using them so I've been here for since one and it's almost four o'clock so we spent a good hour just talking Because, like I said, this is out of my comfort zone. This is a natural, and I've never worn these lashes. Like, on her, she makes them look so flawless and awesome. And on me, I'm like... It looks good. All you gotta do is smile. If you look sad, it's gonna look awkward. <laughs> okay. Well, face <laughs> Or get them. And I'm about to go into my inner corner with just a kiss. Where's my brush brush? Oh, damn, I'm really standing up. <laughs> like every, everything else is laying down and just standing erect. Like, you 
had to use the word erect with orgasm, didn't she? Oh shit, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> the funny thing is, I never say that word. <laughs> yeah. So it's just funny that I ended up saying it. Yeah. Oh, um, with the other word. Did I do enough in her corner? Where? I did! I see it, but what the hell? You get one or the other. You get blinding highlight or blinding eye. I'd rather have blinding eye because the face is very like. Yeah, you you can go subtle with the highlight, but we definitely need that inner corner. I said she just needs to do a video of just completely blinding. This one is the bigger chunk. So you, you see how it looks more, more, um, because when you pat it in, mm -hmm. it just sits there, but when, oh, you, okay. when you rub it in, it like flattens it and like, it looks more blank. Because now it looks more blank than that. Yeah. Was that good now? Or do I still need to add more? <laughs> I add personally would still add more. I'm adding more, more, more because she didn't say that with confidence. I use Stone Cold from the Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter Palette. Girl, <laughs> the first swipe back. You don't have nothing else that you can wipe it off with? Like another, like, like another. It, that one's actually very reflective, so it's, it's too much. See, the one time, the one time. It's because that, that highlight's like frosty. Oh well, I'll make it work. Like it looks, it doesn't look bad on camera. Just, look, look how blind <laughs> it is when the light hits it. Hey. Well, you said I needed to be more daring. You said I better have highlights. Oh, the so. one time you're supposed to be natural though. Well, her face was glowy, so using the Shayla and Color Pop collab lippy pencil in BFF four. Got Chola vibes right now. <laughs> I was loving. So now I am trying the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the color Downtown Beauty. I really don't ever do <laughs> like this lip. I'm just like, it looks nice. I know it is looks intimidating nice. for you. Yeah, just because you know I've been so heartbroken about the brown. I was debating adding a pink nude to the center and decided against it. I'm shocked. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. It. I thought I was really gonna have to add something. So this is your first time using it. Yes. Oh. Yes. A lot of settings right. I learned that from her. Set. 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 And wait, this video isn't even done yet because we still have the surprise for you. Yeah. I think you just reminded me. I don't think I did my bottom lashes. Mascara. I just realized that. <laughs> These are the finished looks. She still doesn't like her look, but I think she looks absolutely ball. And we decided that the hair down with the hoops that are from Flyropa, these are gonna be a new drop. A new, a new drop this month, and they are stainless steel, and they come in several different sizes. I decided to be bold and get the big hoops, which Ellie normally does, and she chose the smaller hoops. So, what do y'all think? Did we do good? Are they complimentary? Or what do you think? We basically kind of swap styles as far as the makeup goes. And yeah. So 
we still have that little surprise for you so just keep on watching but this is what we came up with for this so far basically some fall press on nails which will be a new flyropa service edition i don't know how you explain it but basically you want some nails she gas you and i will be modeling the fall set that i had her do specifically for me and she's gonna teach me how to do it because i don't know what damn thing like this face would not have been possible two years ago so these are the nails i picked the colors she did the design let me see i'll include a close-up picture right around here but this is part of Flyropa nail care and the still don't have official pricing yet but you can get a starter set which is the nails that you choose to design and then also you'll get some goodies that help you and basically you will get a stick to push back your cuticles and also to help with removal of the nails when you're done you will get a nail file and I think it buffs too yeah. it buffs as well you get nail clippers because you got to trim your natural nails and then you get the option of nail tabs which make these easy to come off or glue for a firmer hold or both if you want to be daring or you don't know which one you want to do and so the application is you're going to trim your natural nail mine are pretty much already trimmed because i bit them i know bad habit then buff it with the file you're going to wipe off the dust before application and wipe with the alcohol if available and you're going to push the cuticle back and then apply the glue or apply the tabs and we'll get to the removal at the end all right so doesn't matter which side or this well no it's, it's this uh buffing oh it's the buffing okay so it's not so buff 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 this part is going to be sped up so I sped up this process of buffing the nails and pushing back the cuticles because basically if you know how to do your nails, it's very easy to do, but it is a long process. forward through a lot of this because you don't need to see me struggle as much as I am. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Now for the other hand. It was definitely a lot harder doing the next hand because having nails on one and then trying to peel off the plastic on the tabs, but it all worked out. You know, even though these are what she considers the shorter nails and these are still long to me, so now I'm afraid I had her do a longer set for me. Not like those, like a little bit shorter than those and... No, I feel like yours look longer than me. Which one's the second pair you did? Yeah. I think it's because of all the... I think they're maybe like the same length but because think, they are thinner. Yeah, so that's what I think it is. I probably should have done those, but you know, I don't have those yet. Yeah. One day, one day. She got me wearing lashes. She got me doing glam looks. Yes. And what else have you got me? We haven't gone a wig yet because we still need to find the right wig. Girl, let me show you. <laughs> See, look, now what happened? every three weeks to get your nails done. Especially because you have, we have rhinestones. My, my have like a big rhinestone. Yeah. So, so these, you got the accent nails, they're gonna be a little bit more, but still, you can use these over and over again. So, you still saving money. It may be expensive the first time around, but the fact that you can reuse these. I have both sets on. Look. And they look like they're my nails. <laughs> and it's all because of her, because if it wasn't for her, I would not be wearing these or have even thought about it. Because I am very. I don't like change. <laughs> well, we can change it up. Yes. And the fact that these really do not cost that much and I can reuse them and do it myself. And I don't feel like it's a waste of money. Here's money. She got so especially for the spooky season. These are skulls, a mat nail, and some rhinestones. These are the XXL stiletto. You can see the, the difference in size. And mine are the more the short version. <laughs> I feel like I do look really dark now because of the, the nails and the makeup. Yes. See, now she likes to look more. Now it's to what she likes. And me, it's like, okay, I got color on my hands. I feel a lot better. And that's how we are. But we're both like, well, in real life. <laughs> Just. We're trying. Yes, we're trying to expand how we are. And plus, because it has made it so hard for everything, like, we miss our once a month girl trips going to Ulta, Sephora, and just being out and about for a little bit, because we're most of the time on our bodies. Yep. So you guys got basically a get ready with us. You guys get to see the first look of new Flyropa products. So, yep. That's it. Yes. And go subscribe to Ellie Lux channel and follow Flyropa on Instagram, on Facebook, become a subscriber on their website. And of course, if you're not already subscribing to me, go ahead and do it. And I do have a vlog that I just started and I'll leave the link in the description box so you can guys can go check that out. All right, I'll see you next time.